everybody. Um, welcome to Fox Fall 2020 online edition. My name is Malik Magdan Ismail. You can just call me Malik. And let me tell you a little bit about this course. Um, so it's a theory course focusing mostly on discrete math and one of the most famous applications of discrete math, which is the uh, digital computer. So we've got discrete math and we're going to apply it to developing a theory of the di digital computer. This we usually call the theory of computing. In fact, discrete and digital almost mean the same thing. We could almost call this course digital math. Okay, now I know it's a theory course, it's a math course, and you're saying to yourself, math, 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 math is not for me. And probably you're also saying to yourself, oh, you know, I just want to be a programmer. I want to get, get my CS degree, go and get a programming job, I'm happy, I make a lot of money, and so on and so forth. Well, let's take these two questions one by one. Math is not for me. No. Math is for anyone who's willing to put the effort. Okay. You might as well say English is not for me. You just moved to this country, let's say the USA, and you need to learn English to get around. You need to learn English to get around. You know you need to do it, so you put the effort. And at the beginning, it's, you know, uh, very tough, excruciating. You in a conversation, you don't know what people are saying, you can't express yourself, people are talking around you, not at you. You know, it takes a little bit of time, but you struggle through it because you need English. Okay, you struggle through it and eventually after many, 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 many years that shows you how hard English is after many, 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 many years, you may be approaching competence and then maybe fluency. Okay, and you know, eventually you become a Shakespeare. Okay. Running is not for me. Well, you know, running is for everybody, and you have to put effort, you have to learn, there's a steep, there's a learning curve. Same thing with math. Math is for you, it's for anybody who's willing to put the effort. Okay. And, you know, is it worth putting the effort? Yes, and that's why math. Why do you need to take a math course? Because the best programmers are programmers who understand the problems that they're solving. Even better, not only do they understand the problem, they solve the problem, which means you understood the problem, you were able to formulate it, you understood it, you solved it, and only the very last step is to program it. So if you want to move up in the programming hierarchy, you need to understand problems, you need to be able to formulate them, you need to be able to solve them. And then you can program it on a computer. But once you get high enough, you'll solve the problem and then let someone else implement it on a, on a, in some program. And this is the workflow in all kinds of disciplines, political science, social science, economics, AI, machine learning, you know, understanding pandemics and how they spread globally and so on and so forth. So if you want to be able to solve these problems, you need to learn mathematics. Okay? And um, if you buy into this, that you need mathematics to model and provide the tools to solve such problems, well, it's, a, it's just like you buy into the fact that you need English. You have to buy into that fact that you need mathematics. Once you buy into that fact that you need mathematics, you have to put in the effort. And math is for you. It's not just for some esoteric few. Math is for anyone willing to put in the effort. So, math is for you. Math is important because it is, the discrete math part at least, is the th underlying theory which is applied to studying the theory of computing, the digital computer. And it is also the language and the, and the set of tools that are relevant for solving real world problems. So it's important, it is for you, but you've got to put the effort and you will be able to become competent in math. There's nothing that says that you cannot do it. Okay, now this is an online course. Okay, so this is the online edition. And to make that smooth, to make sort of the whole online learning experience smooth, I'm going to give you a few tips. Basically, treat it as a real course. Okay. So, you know, when you're watching the lectures, you can choose to watch it on your iPhone or your laptop or even better, a big screen. The larger the screen you watch it on, the better. The more immersive the experience will be, the more you will feel like you're in a live course. So try to watch the lectures on as large a screen as you have available. Okay, so that's point number one. Point number two, get into a routine. When you're taking a live class, you know, twice a week, on specific times, you go into the lecture, it's a live lecture, then you listen, 
you try to understand, you take notes, okay, then you leave. There's nothing that stops you from doing exactly that for the online class. So get into a routine. Watch the lectures twice a week. Don't bunch them all up and watch 27 lectures when the exam gets closer. Okay, watch them. Watch the lectures on a regular routine basis, twice a week when the lectures are aired. Yes, you can go and download the recorded version, but make it a routine twice a week. Watch the lecture. Don't watch it from your couch or in your bed. You know, you know, even if necessary, brush your teeth, get ready, wear clothes that you would wear to a lecture, put it on a big screen, sit on a normal chair with a desk or a table, get your notebook and pen, and take notes. Okay. Now, taking the notes is an important part of learning. You might say, oh, the slides are there, the lecture, oh, yeah, 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 it's all there. Okay, but those are just you know, material that's being presented to you. You have to learn. And how do you learn? One of the ways to learn is to take notes. Okay. So you're watching the lecture, you're trying to understand it. Pretend like it's a live lecture. Pretend like once it's done, it's done. And you don't have access to it. So you need to focus. You need to pay attention. You need to try to understand. You need to summarize. You need to identify what's important and then write it down. Writing it down and all the other peripheral activities a part of the learning experience. They will expedite your learning exponentially. Okay. So, math is for you. Math is very important to computer science. And there are simple little things that you can do in order to enhance the online experience by making it more like a live class. So, with that said, you know, welcome to the class again. Check out the web page, lots of tools there. Uh, lots of information and lots of resources. Get the textbook, you're ready to read chapter zero, and I'll see you at the first lecture.